Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you're pretty hot, too. Yeah. So what do you want to do the next time? Do something wild and crazy? Something wild? <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's uh, like August 13th. I don't know. Can't see. Can't see. There's a thing in the way. Uh, <clears throat> and this is the canoes special. I look a little white edition, but you know, new studio. And that's the way it's gonna be. And my voice is a little funny. Let me let me do something with it. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so in the news, uh, Russia, this Georgia thing. So they've got it, you know, worked out their little difficulties. And uh, so uh, the violence should be decreasing. Um, but yeah, who the hell knows, you know? Uh, you genocided first. No, you genocided first. No, I saw you genocide that closet. No, you genocide over there in the corner. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just, we'll wait a few years. We're going to be doing this with Texas in the United States. It'll be the U.S. against Texas. Da -da -da -da. And the rest of it will be all supporting Texans, you know. Save the poor Texans from the horrible United States that wants to tell them they can't molest their children. <laughs> and shit like that, because Texas is crazy. Okay, anyway. Uh, moving on. John Edwards guy, political guy. Yeah, boy, he really fucked up, didn't he? <laughs> it's a joke. <sighs> but, yeah, I mean, really. Uh, you know, the whole idea of running. I'm going to run for president even though my wife is going to die. <laughs> it's just a great idea, right? Uh, but it's, yeah, really not a great idea to pretend that, um, you know, and then uh, do what you did. I mean, just be honest about it. Just say, okay, well, the wifey is kind of really broken, <laughs> you know, so I've, I'm getting my second wifey uh, ready. And, uh, you know, you got to take care of your needs. And, uh, you know, we all know about it. She's all cool about it. But, you know, life goes on even when you're dying. Uh, you know, we all got to keep up the addiction. <laughs> you know, even my, the, the most meaningful things in our lives are falling apart and crumbling and being tortured right before our eyes. We got to keep struggling through. You know, we got to find some new hole to fill. Haha. <laughs> Another bad joke. Oh, uh, anyway, fuck it. All right, Olympics. Big news of the Olympics. Apparently not too many people going to the Olympics, though. I mean, people bought the tickets ahead of time, so I don't know why they don't show up. Oh, yeah, I overpaid $5,000 for my ticket, but I don't feel like sitting in China, so fuck it. <laughs> you know, um, you know, but they had a little fake girl conf controversy, you know, and I just, I just thought it was very funny. <laughs> you know, like, ooh, you can't fake anything in this world, no. Um, you never watch the news, like on cable. It's, uh, you never see no ugly women doing the news reading, do you? No, you don't. What a surprise. Fakers. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, just such hypocrites. The hypocrites are everywhere. Just covered with hypocrites. The whole earth. They're just quick. We just gotta quit calling them homo sapiens. Just call them hypocrite sapien. Hypocrite sapiens. Ah, oh, fuck it. All right, FEMA. There's so FEMA has apparently some oil tanks all over the goddamn country, fuel tanks, you know, in case the Russians bomb us or whatever, so there'd be something to catch fire and kill us. Um, so, uh, yeah, but apparently they're all leaky now, so yeah, it's going to be another big mess to clean up. Uh, but who cares, right? Uh, it's not very important. Not as important as the fucking Olympics, anyway. God damn it. It's the Olympics. There's all kinds of people doing interesting things. They swing from little bars and they go across the water really fast it's be the fastest to go across the water yes it's very interesting don't be the fastest to figure out uh, the unifying theory of gravity and uh, atomic forces no don't bother with that don't be the fastest to do that no be the fastest to you know swing from your heels <laughs> you know uh, whatever uh, fuck this world sucks Sports, 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 sports. Uh, anyway, uh, so 85 billion something. Oh yes, 85 billion dollars on these like bad black water thing. These like private police forces we hire, and apparently they've studied it, and we're not saving any money, and they're not doing a better job, and it's just a big, uh, yeah, big way to make some rich people richer. That's all it is. That's right. Uh, fuck that story too. I right, this, I uh, can't remember her name, but the wife of this uh, Joel Oystein guy, this religious little, really kooky little guy. Um, but, you know, he's got, a, he's got a thing, you know, he's got that charisma thing. Uh, but fuck him. <laughs> yeah, he's evil and all that crap. But his wife's apparently a real kook. 
and uh, apparently she was in a, on a plane with a kooky stewardess and the the two kookies like mixed with each other <laughs> and it was like you know chocolate and peanut butter or whatever nuclear chocolate and peanut butter and um, oh what a mess you know but they really are they're both nuts um, I mean the stewardess oh I can't take the trauma I have a people person job and I couldn't control the peoples that's your fucking job lady you take a job as a stewardess guess what you have to deal with people and people are wacky so that's part of your job description you dumb bitch Ugh. oh that unabomber guy is complaining he's complaining because you know they got like I don't know a display of like his nutty cabin you know the cabin where he inspired all his nuttiness <laughs> and he's complaining and it's just kind of funny I mean you know mass murderers who complain uh, that really that ought to be when the, the little hatchet comes down and lops off their little useless heads Ugh. Why do we keep these people alive? It's just so stupid. They're never getting out, so fuck it. Why are we even listening to them? Why are we letting them type letters? Fuck it. Uh, you know, put, put them in a vat of, like, epoxy or something. If, you, if we have to have them around. <laughs> but fuck it. Ah, uh, stupid. Uh, Isaac Hayes dies. Yeah, I would have cared a few years ago, but, you know, when he did that Scientology thing, and then he wouldn't do South Park, because South Park insulted his little Scientology religion. Fuck him. So, uh, whatever. Goodbye. The end. Uh, so some asshole took a bath in a, a sink at the Burger King. <laughs> you know, yeah, well, that's a way to get fired. But you'll probably get a series, right? A reality series. Let's see where we can take a bath next. Let's go around the country taking a bath in different cool places like bird fountains and public fountains and, you know, water fountains and anywhere we can find to take a bath. And it'll be a TV show and it'll be really funny. <laughs> it's America. America is like funny TV. <sighs> okay, Democratic Convention. It's going to be a real, real thriller. <laughs> you know, uh, going to be let off with P Pelosi and uh, Mrs. Obama. <laughs> and you're like, oh man, is this going to be bad? Ooh. But you know, you're going to have to vote for the Democrat. But damn, I ain't going to watch the stupid show, that's for sure. God damn it. And it'd be some little candy thing, you know. I'm right before I'm brain tumoring dead, I tell you to vote for the Democrats. Okay, we got it, Ted. Figure that one out. Oh, shit. All right, National Guard guys and Reserve guys are apparently becoming alcoholics more than the regular service guys when they come home. And they say it's because of a lack of training, probably. But no, it's probably because they didn't take the, you know, the National Guard and Reserve, okay? They didn't even think they were going to fucking goddamn war. <laughs> they just wanted some fucking goddamn money to buy alcohol before they even went to the war. That's why they were fucking in the Reserve. So they needed some alcohol money. <laughs> you dumb assholes. Uh, anyway, so this Metaskey guy, our Attorney General, the guy who's supposed to be defending the Constitution and all that crap, well, yeah, we're not going to prosecute these polit political operatives uh, within the Bush administration who basically violated the uh, 14th and 4th and 7th Amendments of the Constitution. Yeah, well, fuck that. That's okay. Mm. Break the law at will. That's the message from the Attorney General. <sighs> as long as you're doing it for slimy, scurvy political reasons. Oh, fuck, we need better people in government, damn it! All right, Pakistan, um, uh, the Taliban, they're going to war with each other. Uh, so that might get ugly, but who knows? They'll, they'll probably figure out how to compromise again where, you know, the government will say, well, okay, we won't mess with you, you don't mess with us, please. Uh, buses falling off everything, you know, cliffs in China and shit and all this other stuff. Lots of bad bus accidents. And now, now in Lebanon, bus got blowed up by the terrorists. Not a place to be right now is buses. Okay. Sweden, this funny story. Uh, Sweden had made, given people the right, I guess it was apparently wrong, I mean against the law, to name their kids things like Budweiser and Metallica. And uh, so to me, it's like, why don't you just let them abuse? So it's almost like letting them abuse their children before they're even born. I mean, if that isn't a sign that somebody shouldn't be a parent, if they're naming their fucking kid Budweiser, you take the fucking kid away. <laughs> God damn, that's insane. Oh, you just shoot people like that. I mean, fuck, who's got time for this shit? Oh. 
All right, then there's always that nutty woman with her clone dogs. Well, apparently she's been nutty for a long time. And uh, she was in some sort of scandal where she kidnapped some Mormon guy and used him as a sex slave 25 years ago. So, yeah, she's really loopy. And you say, where did she get this fucking money? I always wonder where these nutballs get the money. I mean, what husband died and left her that kind of money? Is she in the hands of some loony like that? And uh, so I guess that's about it. You know, that's enough, right? I mean, how much of this shit can you possibly take? And till next time, this has been the good news. Uh, happy, happy.